So we've just come down to Bordsey, which is uh, dead opposite where we stayed. There's Felix Stowe over in the uh, background there with a the golf course and the pub. We've come right away, all the way up into Ipswich and then back out to this uh, location. We're about to go and have a cup of tea. The tea's made. Are you happy with the spot? Yes. Yes, it's a nice looking spot. So the, um, we run out of water and you can get water from garages and places like that and toilets and was hoping that down the little port here they'd have an outside tap of which they don't but they do have public toilets and what we carry with us as well as the hose pipe and all the different connections and these are only cheap are these um, water bladders off Amazon a couple of quid and uh, it means you can fill them up from a normal tap which uh, really helps us out there so we could have a cup of tea so I do recommend although you might have systems where you can plug in the water like we have or hose pipe the water in like we have or funnel the water in like we have these are handy when you can't get to an outside tap that's for sure if you're interested in the water bladders there's a link in the description so change of plan guys we've made it to this um, boardsy overnight parking location i'll put it on the map i'll give you the what three words however we've just got news so it's back to my dad's and go back to london ready for arguably the next part of our adventure yep. so let's get the show on the road not everything about living in a van is glamorous she wasn't talking about me folks she's talking about hopefully she was talking about our environment because sometimes you need to visit folks and sometimes you need to find yourself on the drive of which where we are. Just want to show you Tony's glamour this morning. So we have a cap, we have his beautiful unironed t-shirt moving down to his trousers. No, not too bad. Moving down to these very glamorous socks and sliders. Oh, that one's on the inside out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's all about the glamour this morning. Yeah, so come with me for this wonderful location. Should we hit the road? Oh yeah. So this is a classy park up. <laughs> I think we've had uh, yeah, a few a few comments on uh, on here saying that um, you don't know how we managed to find such uh, great car parks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a car park it is. And a car park it is. So you don't always get stunning locations. And as much as, as I put these videos together, or we put these videos together, we show some of the glamorous ones. There's also the ones that sometimes we can't help, but or can't avoid, the, the, and they are mainly, can't even spit it out, <laughs> car parks. Oh dear. And we'll do a, um, we'll give you a, a little look at this one, but it is close to a town centre. We need to get into Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. And this is a 24 hour park in here. Uh, for four pound twenty or something like that. So um, yeah, it's, yeah, 
it has got five bays specifically for motorhomes um, that obviously therefore you can stay in overnight it does say motorhomes only and annoyingly there's a van in one of them yeah, um, it does say strictly no vans so it's just for motorhomes you know fairly size or above yeah they're but. big spaces um, and like I say annoyingly um, a normal van has parked in one um, so we can't get in so we're waiting but no end of amusements watching van life as it happens with people stepping in stuff and taking it into their van and then having to clean their vans endless amusement for us <laughs> the word she was looking there for is shit <laughs> <laughs> Someone stood in when you're watching the people poop. opposite <laughs> throw their shoes out the windows and the car mats out and the cleaner comes out and, and the hoovers now everywhere so <laughs> change your shoes empty go and empty the, empty, um, the hoover. empty the hoover and hopefully you're not one of our subscribers because i'm about to show you that's the van and that is one of the occupants going to empty his hoover bless you forget when you're in a van you are at eye level to everybody and there are windows usually everywhere so anybody walking past can see in um yeah so it's, yeah it's just giving us some amusement while we're waiting this is the reality of it to be fair when you're living in a van it which is. we are at the moment yeah. sorry there's <laughs> some more shoe whacking going on <laughs> that was a big lump of poop <laughs> But yeah, the reality is you end up parking up where you can park up. You need the convenience of a town where you, you've got a choice. You can either drive into that town, find a park up in a main car park like this and endure it. There's a bottle bank here, so you're going to get all that noise, no doubt. Or you pop into the town and then spend an hour driving away from it, trying to find a place in the countryside. Um, I know which one I'd rather do, but ah. in on this occasion, we need to endure it. We need to endure it. We've got some friends here and you're going to pop across and see them tonight. So, yeah, enduring it it is. And I'm sure, I'm, I'm not partaking, but I'm sure when Tony's had a pint, then he won't mind where he sleeps. I probably won't even make it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably stay around his house in the comfort of his house. <laughs> or I'll find him at that end of the car park in the morning. Yeah, he'll be fine. Propped up against another van. Um, so we'll catch up with you a bit later. Good morning. From Berry St Edmunds. Car park. <laughs> it was actually quite a nice sleep. Apart from a few grumbles next to me. But uh, the actual car park itself was fairly peaceful. And uh, yeah, I didn't even notice half the cars turn up this morning. That grumbling was me, guys. I had a drink last night. <laughs> Took advantage of being in the town and uh, went to see some friends. Um, anyway, yeah, as Claire says, this car park is uh, <laughs> as Claire says, this car park was pretty, pretty damn cool to be fair. And it's really good of Bury St Edmunds Council to allow overnight parking here. There's a lot of people taking advantage of it, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, right smack bang in the middle of the town. So we're about to go and do some shopping. We won't take you with us because um, if, you're, if you're like me, you don't particularly enjoy household goods shopping. So um, we'll catch up with you a bit later. I want to close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture-perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like When your heart is aching, when you bleed
So we're just coming for a, a quick walk. And uh, where we are, I'll put the what three words on. There is parking enough for one van um, for an overnight spot, if you if you so desire, if you so desire. Um, you're right in front of a gate, but there's no, no parking signs there or anything like that. And you're up a little tiny lane. And we're in the heart of um, it's what, a Guildford area in Surrey. So it could be quite an ideal park up for um, you know for London visits or whatever if you're down this way. But we're going to go and have a look at an old gunnery, an old um, ammunition building. So it's Chilworth Gunpowder Mules. Probably not a picture here actually, is there? Yeah, it's all right at the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bridge he says. <laughs> demonstrate the scale of this building. It's massive. Built nearly 400 years ago in 1626 by the East India Company, Chilworth Gunpowder Mills is one of the earliest examples of a gunpowder mill. In place. The majority of the buildings were demolished in the 20th century, however, more than 100 key buildings remain within this Surrey Hills site and are now listed as a scheduled monument. Interesting, isn't it? It's huge, isn't it? I do love finding old buildings, derelict buildings. And then discovering the history behind them. It's quite, uh, it's quite cool. And something you can easily do in a van. So I found this literally by going onto Google Maps, looking at attractions within the area, and then uh, seeing what was around. Simple. snails there, don't know what that's all about. It looks like there's a big walk around here as well that you can do. So uh, yeah, lovely in the Surrey Hills. Chillingworth Gunpowder Manufacturing Building, interesting. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're going to have a little walk around and then um, we're going to head off to our camp for the night because uh, I want to make something to eat, surprisingly. I'm a little bit hungry, but I thought it'd be worth stopping off here to have a quick look around quite uh it's quite interesting you're always hungry i am always hungry because <laughs> i'm a growing lad do you remember when we went to paris in july got stuck out in the rain but we danced around and didn't mind it so young and reckless baby you and i fit just like a glove but i guess that's over now we've been playing since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like when your heart is shaking when it bleeds? If it's over, just say it out loud Say those words, go and just shout it out Just be honest, be Say it's over. 
there's another uh, park up just up the road before you get to this and you're um, aiming for Long Ferry Farm. That's the track that you take off the main road. But here are the what three words. <laughs> well, turn me around. Turn around, face that way, yeah. steps inside. Face the camera. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One, yeah. two. <laughs> Where's the catch me? Oh, go on then. I'm oh, taking a run up. Go on then, take a run up. <laughs> G up! <laughs> Many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Silent treatment is this what it feels like. Leave a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you. Safe travels and we'll see you on the road soon. If it's over to see it out loud. Say those words go into shouting out. Just be honest. Be Perfect.